All right, guys, um, kind of an informal uh, kind of review here, all right? So Sky Viper V2900 Pro uh, returned the FPV uh, 2400 HD that I had um, just because that memory card issue that I talked about uh, in that video, uh, which ended up being nothing but a uh, set of poorly formatted videos or art memory cards. Um, so I went in and returned it, and I was like, dang, you know, they've got the level up. They've got the toy. They've got the, you know, the, the more of a professional type kind of drone that you have to register with FAA. Uh, but it was 250 bucks. You know, it was like 100 and, uh, I don't know, 50 bucks more than I was, you know, going to spend on the, this drone, this uh, V2900 or V2400 um, HD. Anyways. I brought it up. I was like, hey guys, you know, I have this on Amazon at Toys R Us. Uh, I was at Toys R Us, have it on Amazon for 176 bucks. And I was like, can you price match that? And they're like, yeah, sure. And I was like, well, it'd be kind of stupid for me not to buy it. I mean, that was $70 off uh, the, the price that Toys R Us was selling it for. Um, so that is really the reason I got it. Um, all right, so. Um, I'm going to show you a bunch of flight videos that I had. Uh, I'm going to be talking throughout this whole thing uh, while you're watching some of the flight video. I'm going to go over some pros and cons, um, why I bought it. Um, kind of already went over that. The price uh, looked cool. Sky Viper's packaging is phenomenal. They do a great job with that. Um, so let's start with the cons. Um, cons. GPS hold is god awful. Uh, this thing bounces off the ground. It flies into stuff. Um, unless you've got this thing, you know, 45 feet in the air, um, where it can just wave around, and it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's dangerous. That 2400 HD uh, that I have, I never crashed that. I flew like maybe the first 15 times, 20 times without crashing it at all. This V2900 HD, dude, I crushed it like five times in the fences and the side of the house. Um, it just dropped out of the sky one time, uh, flew away another time. Oh, uh, my God. Oh, by the way, I'm drinking some Yeehaw Dunkel, um, Johnson City, Tennessee. All right. It's not a bad beer. Not a bad beer. Um. All right, so GPS is just not good. I don't know, you know, I had 11 satellites, you know, and it just, I don't know what was going on with this thing, and it, it was just not doing what it was supposed to do. Um, Sky Viper, I think, is a great company. They communicate well, but this particular version um, has a very good base, but it needs a lot of refinement, a lot of refinement. Um Due to that GPS being terrible, uh, like I said, I had the flyaway, uh, I had the bouncing on the ground, um, you know, and GPS is just was a big disappointment. It is not what I expected. Um, all right, so another con is uh, it seems to get weak. It's got a larger battery. I believe it's a 2,000 milliamp uh, battery. It's larger, uh, but it seems to get weak. After about five minutes into a so, so to speak, 20 minute flight, the thing gets weak. Like I'm holding it up and it's just slowly climbing um, over me just turning it on and cranking 100%, you know, on the elevation and it starts flying up. It just doesn't do that. And I don't know if that was just the, the, the toy that I had or the drone that I had, um, but it just was really slow to react. It was really jello-y. Um, you know, and I stopped using uh, GPS mode, uh, particularly due to that lack of power and, and reaction that you get. Um, so it gets weaker, essentially, um, the, the more you fly it. Uh, where other drones, you know, uh, they don't. You don't notice a performance drop, really, uh, until it starts beeping at you and you get a little battery signal. Then you're setting it down anyways. This one, just you know, week after five minutes. Um, another con is this is the first drone that I've ever owned that bust weight. So you, it, it's over, um, you know, the, the, I think it's you know, a half pound or something crazy like that. 
so I have to register it with the FAA. Um, and that's a con. You know, it costs about 24 bucks <laughs> for something that I had for a few days. Not that cool. Um, so I was disappointed with that. All right, let's move on to the pros. Um, pros, price. All right, for for the grade of drone that you're supposed to be getting, um, 174 bucks isn't that bad. It's the entry level to drones like the Hubson 50 uh, H501S, uh, which I'll do a review here shortly on. Um, but the price isn't bad. Uh, it's 200, it's a $250 drone and I got it for $174, uh, due to price matching, $176, something like that. Um, so it, it wasn't bad. It went, uh, I got it max altitude, uh, according to the flight log, it was 183 feet, right? So that is over double what I was getting with the blast drone. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, the, the... Uh, video quality which is my next one uh, but price price is good uh, next thing is going to be uh, the, the look of it it is really sharp looking the colors again sky viper chose a very good color scheme in my opinion um, the colors look great it's just a sleek looking drone um, when you're flying up into a white sky or a blue sky, you can really see the drone. You don't have any issues uh, being able to see it. Um, so moving on to the next one, uh, brushless uh, motors. This is the first brushless uh, motor uh, drone uh, quadcopter that Sky Viper has come out with that I know of. So it was my first experience with them. Um, they seem, like I said, that first five minutes of flight, they're very responsive. It's a very fast quadcopter. I think the max speed is about 30 miles an hour um, with it. Uh, it's very similar to the H501S, uh, but it is just not, you know, refined as much as the Hubson H501S. Um, but it's $100 cheaper, so uh, you gotta look at that. Um, so another pro, um, the biggest pro by far, uh, is the durability. I crushed this thing. Uh, the f unintentionally, uh, the first eight times it crashed, um, you know, it was a flyaway that set itself down. I dropped out of the sky at about 60 feet one time into some brush. Um, the... <laughs> The day that I was going to return it, I'm sorry, Toys R Us and Sky Viper, but I really put this thing to its limits. I took the blade guards off, or uh, yeah, the prop guards, I took those off, and I tested this thing. And I had this thing flying, you know, probably going 30 miles an hour, uh, pulling to a halt and just, you know, elevating. Uh, and one time, I really, really ran into my house, you know, pretty quick, where I was like, damn, I'm going to actually have to buy, pay for this now. Uh, rather than returning it and, and upgrading and what have you. Um, thing takes a beating. Uh, as you can see in some of these videos, the thing is just dropping out of the sky. Um, and it just smashes the ground and you kind of cringe, you know, when you see it happening. But um, it takes a beating. It's very durable. Uh, last pro that I have is the quality of photo and the quality of video. Uh, for something that you're going to pay $174 for, this thing gets 1080p hands down uh, video as you guys have been watching. It is great, solid video. Um, the photos aren't bad at all. You just got to make sure, you know, it doesn't have a, a gyro on it. So you got to make sure that you're kind of steady. Um, videos are great. All right, so now I'm going to move into the overall uh, scheme of what I thought of this thing. Um, would I recommend it? Absolutely not. Uh, this thing was a kind of a piece of junk. I expected a lot more uh, out of this thing. The, the GPS, you know, the, it says it has geofencing. It says it has return to home. Uh, it says it has all kinds of stuff. I could never even get the thing to return to home. Uh, I couldn't even get to land. Uh, it would just kind of just hover there. And after about three or four minutes, I was like, dude, I don't have time for this. I don't have the battery for this. Uh, the thing would just hover. Um, it never even really moved. It kind of just was in a position hold. Um, but the geofencing never even messed with that. Um, you know, the idea that you can do so much with the cell phone 
uh, hooked up to this thing is insane. Um, you know, these are probably thinking like, oh, yeah, you never even got it. You're just taking somebody else's video. Uh, but I still actually have the um, Pro Series uh, manual that I failed to put back in the box before I returned it. Um, which actually reminds me of something else that I need to talk about on this. Um, <clears throat> yes, I would not recommend this at all. If you're going to spend 174 to 250 bucks on it, highly recommend getting the Hubsyn H501S, um, or they have another model, I think it's the H502, which is 100 bucks, which probably performs a heck of a lot better than this one. Um, Sky Viper, I love the company, but they really could have done a heck of a lot better on this drone. Um, last con, I know I'm backtracking, last con, uh, the battery. You gotta put the battery in the center, you've gotta like hook it up, and then you've gotta like have a nickel or a device on you to shut the, uh, here's a picture of what I'm talking about, to shut the actual uh, battery compartment. If you don't have a key, a tool, um, a penny, anything. Good luck doing that with your fingernails. Like I don't have long fingernails. I that battery pack opened multiple times. I'd be flying. I'm like, oh hey, there's the battery dangling. Uh, kind of a bummer, a real bummer actually. So another uh, con. Now I know this is a kind of a poor review, but um, if you are going to get this thing. Take my word for it. Do not get it. All right, there are other drones out there. Beware. Buyers, beware. Uh, do not get it. 